हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू विज्ञान एकेडमी फॉर मैथ्स एंड साइंस आई एम श्रद्धा पांडे एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू शेयर एन इंटरेस्टिंग टॉपिक विद यू ऑल बट बिफोर देन दैट आई वांटेड टू आस्क यू ऑल अ क्वेश्चन दैट इज एज वी नो आर डिफरेंट पार्ट्स ऑफ अ बॉडी हेल्प अस टू डू डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ वर्क लाइक आर आईज हेल्प अस टू ऑब्जर्व द थिंग्स our ears help us to listen the sound our nose help us to get the smell similarly which part of our body help us to grind and chew the food if your answer is teeth then you are right it's our teeth which help us to grind and chew our food now you will be thinking that why i'm asking this question because in this video I am going to talk about our teeth from second lesson human body the teeth of fourth standard science from S Chan publication textbook of ICSC board and in this lesson I am going to cover the objectives are introduction of our teeth and its function does newborn baby have teeth types of teeth based on age types of teeth based on shape function of teeth arrangements of teeth in our mouth structure of teeth how to avoid cavities and also foods for healthy gums and teeth now as we already know that our teeth help us to grind and chew the food but have you ever thought what is teeth let's have a look in the introduction part so our teeth is the hardest part of our body but how does it function it helps to cut the food it helps to tear the food it also crush and grind the food set of teeth make us look good it also help us to speak clearly thus it is very important to take care of our teeth so that it can last with us for lifetime now have you ever thought that does we born with our teeth or does the newborn babies have teeth let's have a look in the next slide as you can see in this image teeth of the newborn baby cannot be seen but in this image we can see few teeth of the baby thus we used to say that the teeth of the newborn babies are hidden below the gums because of which they cannot chew solid foods they can only drink milk or other liquids do you know when does the teeth start coming out of its gum let's understand from the next slide on the base of each there are two types of teeth male teeth and permanent teeth now what is this male teeth does it made up of milk no not at all till the age of 3 year old children has 20 set of teeth and this 20 set of teeth is called as male teeth it start appearing at the age of 6 month old and till the age of 3 year old we get 20 set of teeth at the age of 6 year old it start falling out and once it fallen off its place is taken by new teeth which are called as permanent teeth it start appearing after male teeth falls out until the age of 21 year old we get 32 set of teeth it is very important to take care of these teeth as no teeth will appear if these teeth are fallen out so if we want our teeth should last with us for lifetime then we must take care of these teeth Now let's understand types of teeth based on shape divided into four categories incisor canine premolar and molar incisor it is also called as front teeth and cutting teeth its shape is sharp and blade like canine it is next to cutting teeth and it is also called as tearing teeth it is having a structure of strong and pointed molar it is also called as crushing and grinding teeth and its shape is broad and flat on top premolar it is also called as crush and grinding teeth it have both the feature of canine and molar that is it is strong and broad on top let's see the function of the teeth incisor help us to cut the food canine help us to tear the food whereas premolar and molar help us to crush and grind our food 
Let's understand the arrangement of teeth in a mouth with the help of this image. This upper part of a mouth is called as upper jaw and the lower part of the mouth is called as lower jaw. The front four teeth are called as incisors. Incisors are eight in number. Four with lower jaw and four with upper jaw. Adjacent to the incisor is canine. Canine are four in number. Two with lower jaw and two with upper jaw. Adjacent to the canine is premolar. Premolar are eight in number. Four with lower jaw and four with upper jaw. Adjacent to the premolar is molar. And molars are twelve in number. Six with lower jaw and six with upper jaw. Now let's see the structure of a tooth. The part inside the gum is called as root, and the part above the gum is called as crown, and the surface of the crown is called as enamel. Enamel is the hardest substance in the human body, and inside the enamel there is dentine, which is not as hard as enamel. Inside the dentine, there is pulp, which has blood vessels and nerves that provides nutrients to our tooth. Now let's see how to take care of our teeth and why we should take care of our teeth. So when we used to eat our food, small bite of food gets stuck between our teeth because of which bacteria present in our mouth mixed with the bite of teeth to form a sticky film on the teeth that is called as plaque. Brushing our teeth removes this plaque but if we don't brush our teeth, the bacteria present in our mouth uses sugar or starch present in the food to produce an acid and these acid weakens the enamel which is the hardest part of our body and can cause small hole or cavity in the enamel. After that it becomes easier for germs to attack the teeth and cavities grow bigger and bigger day by day and when it reaches to the pulp we used to get the teeth. Thus it is very important that if we notice cavities in our teeth we must go to the dentist. The dentist can stop the cavities from growing by filling them up. Now let's see what we can do to avoid the cavities and other tooth problems. We must brush our teeth twice a day, once in the morning and once at night. Rinse our mouth thoroughly after eating or drinking something specially after eating sugary food. Gently massage your gums with your finger when you brush your teeth. Visit a dentist once in six months for a checkup. Now let's see which foods are healthy for our gums and teeth. So the food rich in calcium such as milk, cheese, curd that is yogurt, spinach, broccoli and almonds. Food rich in vitamin D such as fish, egg and tough. Also, we can get vitamin D by sitting under sunlight for 15 to 20 minutes in a day. Food rich in vitamin C such as lemon, orange, broccoli and strawberry. All these foods are good for our teeth and gums. Now let's see which foods are bad for our teeth and gums so that we can avoid them. So the hard or sticky sweets such as candy, such foods stick to our teeth and are not easily washed away. Crunchy foods such as potato chips, they get trapped in our teeth and do not easily come out. Fizzy cold drinks such as cola, they are harmful for the enamel of our teeth. As these foods are harmful for our teeth and gums, we must avoid them. In case we eat them, make sure we rise our mouth thoroughly after eating them. From this video, we learn about our teeth, types of teeth, their function, how to protect them, and what we should eat to keep our gums and teeth healthy. Thank you for watching my video. Please like, share, subscribe my channel and don't forget to press the bell icon to get the latest update of my channel.